Hello everyone, I'm Jian of the Read Loud Library and today's video I'm going to be recommending you books from the Read Aloud Libraries library that would cater to kids of a particular age. So I have picked some books from my library, the, the, the books that we have on hand to share with you. So if you want to know which books these are, please keep on watching. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Hello readers. Welcome to the Read Aloud Library. I started the Read Aloud Library during the pandemic. So that was around March 2020. So um, from then, I started building the library, the books. I've been searching for books and buying them. And I don't have a lot of books. I have a fair amount, which you can see right here. I placed it. So I picked out some books um, that I believe would be a good fit uh, to recommend for you parents, maybe aunts or uncles or godparents out there that you would like to read to kids at a particular age. So I have actually three categories. So the first is um, books that I recommend for five months to two year old kids. Um, the second category I have are for three to five year old children. And the last is a uh, for all category. So it can be for kids from five months until five years of age. So let's get started. So the first category is for five months to, to two years old. Why five months? Um, because during this time, five to six months, um, the children already can interact with you. So if you show them picture books um, with colors and, you know, really nice photos, pictures, they're going to really look at it. You're going to point at it so they can see the different colors, the different pictures. So it's an interactive kind of um, book already for these kinds of kids at this age. So I have a couple of books here. I think one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. So the first is this. I haven't read this here on the read aloud yet, but the title is Patch the Puppy. Um, this is hardbound and as you can see the picture, I'm sure if um, a kid that is um, of this age, five to two years of age, five months to two years of age, um, they've already seen a dog. So if you have a dog or any pet at home. So this is a good book, Patch the Puppy, if you haven't heard of it yet. <laughs> um, I'll be reading that soon here on the Read Aloud Library. Next is this. It's a series of books actually of How Do Dinosaurs. Uh, it's a dinosaur <clears throat> series. It's How Do Dinosaurs Clean Their Rooms. I also have this one which is bigger. How do dinosaurs say goodnight? So this one is a hardbound and this is big but it is paperback. So as you can see the photos, let's open this bigger one. So as you can see, you can see the pictures of the dinosaurs. See? So that's going to really attract these kinds of this aged kids um, for five months until two years of age. So that's going to really attract them because it's there's colors and the pictures are big. If we check this um, smaller book, the the paper, uh, the hardbound, you can still see that it's really big. The photos, the pictures of the dinosaurs. See, so there, it's going to really attract um, these kids. So the next one is this. I've already um, done a read aloud of this on the Read Aloud Library's Instagram, Wallace the Hungry Dog. I like this because look at the pictures. It's like it, uh, it was drawn by a child. <laughs> See? And it's a dog again. It's an animal. And um, children can relate to it um, easily. So even the colors. Okay, so that's Wallace the Hungry Dog. But this one is paperback. Next is a classic one. Maybe I'm sure most of you, if not all of you already have this. Dear Zoo. Why would I recommend this book? 
because this one is fun because it has the um, flip or it's not a pop-up book it's a flip book so you can open it so there is um, you can have the child uh, try to open it especially if they're like one or two years old and reveal the animal inside see so that's nice it's a more interactive kind of book so if you flip it up then you can see a snake see sometimes you can even surprise them okay so that is dear zoo and last one um, for this age is always their bear um, because if not all of the kids most of the kids would have a stuffed toy with them that they go to sleep with or bring with when they travel so this is um, something that they can also relate to so it's um, having a stuffed toy that's always there for them see and the pictures are also nice it's like a loose drawing but you can see how it can be relatable for kids at this age which is what we also want so it's it's like saying it's okay to, for you to have this stuffed toy where you always bring it and um, that's a good thing as well for them see so that's always there there this is actually one of the first books that I've ever bought for the read aloud libraries library Okay, so those are the books that I would recommend for ages five months to two years of age. Always There Bear. Um, this is by Trudy Granger. Dear Zoo by Rod Campbell. Wallace the Hungry Dog by Roger Pretty. How Do Dinosaurs Clean Their Rooms? The How Do Dinosaurs series. This is by Jane Yolen and Martini. And last but not the least, Patch the Puppy. Okay, that those are those books. Okay, so let's move on to the category of ages 3 years old to 5 years old. So these are um, older kids who can probably start, they're starting to read and starting to appreciate this story already. So... I have books here. Let's start with some classic stories. I'm not sure if you already have this in your library or <clears throat> you're planning to get it, but I believe in classic books, uh, classic stories. Um, it's uh, timeless. So these are these books. The Three Little Pigs and the Three Billy Goats Gruff. So this is a uh, hardbound but as you can see this are from the well-loved tales there and it's uh, it's this small it's not i i haven't really seen uh the books that are as big as the ones that i showed you before um but these are very classic stories and until now see i mean i bought it <laughs> i've had this i've had books like this uh, when I was uh, younger and my mom would read it to us or we would just flip and read through it so this can also be uh, used for kids who are already at a reading age especially like five years old five to six years old so they can start reading this by themselves independently okay so that those are that books and of course let's go for a drive so not particularly this book but this series the elephant and piggy series um, most of the kids in this generation did not grow up um, knowing what a comic book is but elephant and piggy is sort of like that it's like a comic book kind of theme um, how it is presented how Mo Willems the author has presented it so there are speech bubbles for each character and it's mostly like one page so and the drawings I mean who does not know what an elephant and a pig is right so it would also attract um, the these aged kids from three to five years of age and the story is fun it's something that's relatable they have a lot of um, 
books in this series. Let's Go for a Drive is just one of them. I also have another one here. Where is it? Here is I Love My New Toy. So um, that's another Elephant and Piggy series book that I have here with me. Um, I have a lot of these books because this is one of my favorite children's books. Okay, so that's it. Next is this. Will I Have a Friend? Uh, why would I recommend this? Again, because it can be relatable, especially the ages of these children, they are already starting to or are already going to school. So this story of Will I Have a Friend is about a child who goes to school for the first time and he's asking if he's going to have a friend in school. So he's a bit hesitant um, if he's going to be able to fit in and find someone he has the same um, interests with. So this can also be a relatable story to children who are already going to school or who will be going to school, especially in this pandemic. Um, most if not all of them have not yet stepped again into uh, a physical school. So that's that story, see? And the drawings, the, the, the illustration, again, will really catch the attention of the children because it's it's not as bright the color but the details are there and they will see mostly children in the illustration so I, I believe that this is also a good book for this age kids for children of this age next is this <laughs> do I have to go to the hospital so again it's another relatable book for children, especially because of this pandemic. Um, most, if not all, children are scared to go to the hospital. They're scared to be admitted or of injections. So this book can help the parents to um, talk with the, their children that, you know, hospitals shouldn't be a scary place for them, that um, hospitals take care of you so that you're going to get better. Again, it's a book that can be relatable to um, these children, especially in this time, okay? Another book that I have here is Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. It is a book about um, standing up for yourself, being proud of who you are that you are you you are unique and you know um, bullies shouldn't be um, you shouldn't be scared of bullies again um, these this book I recommend because of children at this age they are already going to school and they might encounter bullies they might encounter um, that they're different from other kids and that you are telling them when you read this book to them you are telling them that it's okay to be different it's not a bad thing um, we have our own quirks we have our own uniqueness that makes us us and there's no other person like us okay so that is that book Stan Tall Molly Lou Mellon the next book I have quite a lot <laughs> for this category but um, the next one is this you might already have this in your library, but this is another classic story, which was also made into a movie if you haven't watched it yet with your um, child, Where the Wild Things Are. This is about imagination and, you know, possibilities as well. If you look at the illustrations of this, it's, it's, um, it's simple, but you know, when it gets to the part with these wild things, you know, it's going to really catch the attention of the children and the chanting. Actually, where is that? The chanting here um, in this book, um, they will also, you know, be attracted to it. Like they might repeat it over and over again. So that is um, one of the books that I would recommend for this age because also they can read. So they can also read this independently, okay? Next, I have here, Can I Slurp My Spaghetti? So 
this story, let's open it. So the illustration of this is it's bright. It's a family. It's about um, sharing um, what you like, what your interests with your friends. Again, it's a book that can be related to, like um, your children might have something that they're really interested in, that they really like, maybe a favorite food, like this, spaghetti. And the, the child here in the story, her favorite food is the spaghetti that her father makes. So she wants to share that with her friends. And her friends, it's like it's the first time they've seen it. They're not really sure what kind of food it is. Especially at this age, children are picky eaters. So sometimes they don't like the food that their other classmate or their friend likes. But it's a way to introduce to them something new that it's not scary that it's okay to try it if you don't like it it's okay but if you like it then even better so it also deals with like feelings like um the 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 child in this story when she felt a bit bad that her friends didn't like her favorite food but they in the end they tried it and they did like it they enjoyed it so that also made her feel happy so it's again a book that can be talked about with your child that you can discuss it and also talk about their feelings how they're feeling as well so that is can i slurp my spaghetti and of course the last book in this category of my recommended books for children ages three to five is this is actually one of my favorite books <laughs> library lion um let's open it and see the illustrations um it's nice if you will be able to get a book that it's this big so that your children can appreciate the illustrations on it so who does not know what a lion is most of the time um children would think of lions as scary but in this book he is like a helper and you're going to see that um, he enjoys reading and he likes to help so this can also be a story where you can um, relate it with the children that you know that they can be helpful like the lion to help you like maybe set the table or help you when you're cooking or you're baking so it's it's a nice way where you can introduce them to be responsible as well so that is the library lion i also have other lion books um in the read aloud libraries library but this is one of the my books that i would really recommend um for you to have if you don't already have it okay so again the books in this age for three to five years old um i would recommend is the library lion this is by michelle nudson can I Slurp by My Spaghetti by Julia Seal? Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. Stand Tall Molly Lou Melon. This is by Patty Lovell. Do I Have to Go to the Hospital by Pat Thomas. Um, will I Have a Friend? <laughs> Will I Have a Friend? This is by Miriam Cohen. Let's Go for a Drive, of course. Or The Elephant and Piggy series by Mo Willems. The Three Billy Goats Gruff and The Three Little Pigs. So that's a lot for this category. All right. So let's go to the last um, category. But before I do that, I will show here because I went to Instagram, I asked on Instagram for um, my followers to please um, share what are the books that you would recommend for preschool aged kids. And some of them did reply and um, the books that they recommended actually were um, Llama Llama books. I have a read aloud of that actually, an audiobook on our spotify if you go to spotify the read aloud library i have an audiobook of that um elephant and piggy um which i've showed you um good night moon i also have an audiobook of that good night moon 
on Spotify, on the Read Aloud Library Spotify. Um, Sandra Boynton Books. I don't have any Sandra Boynton books, but it's one of the recommended books by one of our followers. So it's probably this books. So I'll try to find if I have um, if I can get my hands on um, these Sandra Boynton books. Um, also, Dr. Seuss. I have a Dr. Seuss book here. It's, oh, the places you'll go. So this is um, my first, I think, Dr. Seuss book. So the illustrations are very colorful. It's very pastel. But this particular book, I would recommend probably for older kids like maybe like a three to five or even higher because this has a lot of rhyming, a lot of reading really, but it sends a good message that you can go places, you know, as you grow older. And this is my first Dr. Seuss book. I would probably try to look for more Dr. Seuss books in the future. So thank you for recommending that. And also some Eric Carle books. I don't have any Eric Carle books as of now, but one of the recommended Eric Carle books is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which of course maybe most of you, if not all of you know it. I've also read that, but I don't have any right now in um, our library. So I'll try to find some of the Eric Carle books as well. So thank you so much to our followers who recommended those books. So let's move on to the last category. So this last category again is for kids of all ages. I just have a few books. I think this is just three books that um, I was able to get from my library that I would recommend for all ages. Okay. The first is um, I will get the sleeve. I took I took the sleeve off. It's one wide river to cross. Um, because this is originally like a folk song, so it has like some rhymes to it. And if you're familiar with Noah's Ark, story of the Bible, it's something, it's similar to that. So I'll show you the book. So this is hardbound. This is just the sleeve. And I'll show you the illustrations. So the illustrations are like this. It's like shadow. Um, it's like a shadow drawing. But the background is colorful. So there's orange, pink, blue, green, purple. Okay. And it, it also um, has like counting in it. So numbers. So I, I, they, I believe that, you know, children of all ages would um, enjoy this. Especially it's just really short and there is like a rhythm or a rhyme to it when you read this book. So that's One Wide River to Cross. Okay. The next is Maverick and Me. Um, I would recommend this for all ages, even for younger kids. Because, again, it's it's a puppy it's a dog i mean who doesn't love dogs or any pets for that matter and the illustrations of these are also really nice see and it will also catch the attention of children and again it is relatable especially if you have a pet of your own or maybe your child wants to have a pet so it also shows here that uh, the responsibility of owning uh, a pet and where you can find or adopt um, a pet of your own okay so that's maverick and me and the last one that i would recommend for all ages is a fun book <laughs> it's room on the broom this is also one of my favorites um and usually witches are like scary in the mindset of children but in this book she's not she's a friendly witch and she's also very kind and if you look at the illustrations um, the the story of this the rhythm of this it's also like um, it's it there is like a rhyming rhythm to when you read it as well and there are animals in these in this story so again it would be fun for the kids 
so there's a dog there's a bird there's a cat there's even a frog and a dragon so who wouldn't want to see dragons in a storybook <laughs> right so that is room on the broom so again books for all ages that i would recommend is one is this room on the broom this is by julia donaldson maverick and me by katherine schwarzenegger and one wide river to cross this was adapted by barbara emberly okay so those are those three books so again i hope you guys had um some idea of what are the books that you can buy if you don't have it yet or you're right on the right track if you already have some of these books but if you don't have uh, most of these books um i hope that this would this video would help you um have an idea of what you can get for the ages of your kids and especially you know they're growing you can get the books for the older kids as well again thank you for watching this video and I hope it was helpful if you like this video please give it a thumbs up so that we know that you like this kind of content and please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and also for read aloud videos here on YouTube I still have some books that I have not yet recorded or read aloud of to post here on YouTube so please stay tuned for that as well again thank you as always and I'll see you at the next story. Goodbye!